This is the Philander Report. We're here with football head coach Travis Wilson. It's well, coach. We had numerous additions to the school record book this year, as well as breaking a bunch of records. I think it was 41 additions and 24 records, three all-conference selections. The best games that we played this season were against Trine and Eureka, who have both qualified for the national tournament the last two years. Looking beyond the record, are you encouraged by what you saw on the field this season? Yeah, you know, we really grew as a team. You know, this is uh, this is really building the foundation of a program. And, you know, nobody ever wants to say it's not about the wins, but it's about how you do it and how you prepare yourself to win. Um, and I felt we did a lot of great things this year, uh, really just putting that foundation and building it in our future. Well, let's talk about our three all-conference selections. Uh, in fact, at first, it's got to be pretty impressive to say a lot about your program that you go 0-10, and you have three kids, and it's not on a mention. It's three kids making second team, so that's got to be encouraging for the future. But Wilson Spryer was the anchor of our offensive line. I thought he did a great job. You allowed him to make some calls, you know, and he's a, a longtime veteran. You know, Cor Cole Fordwall came in, did a great job of getting the ball deep and putting the offense on the other team way back there. Dylan Huck said, I think I'm going to call him the monster of the peninsula. I mean, he had an unbelievable year, 144 tackles, and just ended up ranked among the top 20 nationally in three categories. What is it about those three players that made them a little bit special? You know, those are guys, who, you know, we like to call them, the, you know, our program, the grinders, right? They put in the effort. They put in the time. They put in everything they need to do to become great players like Wilson Spryer. I mean, he's just a tough, hard-nosed kid who wants to get everything done. And he's done a really good job over the last three years. He started every single game for us in the last three years. Um, and Cole, you know, Cole's phenomenal. Um, you know, he's got an opportunity as a true freshman to come in, do our kicking duties. And, I mean, he's doing all the kicking duties. So that's really hard for one kicker in general. But for one kicker that's a freshman to do that, it's extraordinary. And Dylan Huxted, you know, he's going to be one of those kids that's really hard to replace. You know, it was a senior year, had a great senior year. Um, you know, so the guys we've got on our roster now and incoming freshmen are going to have an opportunity to really fight for that linebacker spot. But Dylan was a phenomenal football player for us. So let's talk a little bit about, you had five seniors this year, but for you personally, it had to be kind of a, an emotional, bittersweet moment in the last game because Tyler Kangas and Dylan Huckstead are the only guys that have played in every single game in school history. Adrian Satterstad was in that first group of kids that came in in the fall of 14. So that, that had to be a little bit emotional for you on that last day. Yeah, those guys, you know, all the credit to them, they stuck out and believed in the program and fought all the way through. And, you know, Dylan, Tyler, and uh, Adrian, phenomenal kids. And they wanted to be a part of something special. They helped us put, you know, those first couple years in, that real, that base layer, that foundation, and really helped this program out. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate those guys. Well, Coach, we had about 48, 49 players this year, which was a big jump from last year over double. We had a good number of impact players from the new group. What are your overall thoughts, and where do we go from here? And being in this conference, now that we've actually finished the year, does that help the recruiting down the road? You know, it's, it's always keep building. You know, I'm building this thing into two phases right now, right? Phase one is taking care of the guys on campus, and that's getting into that weight room. Uh, working with advantage, getting as big and fast and strong as we humanly possibly can. All right. Uh, phase two is putting the greatest 2019 football class together that we've ever had here. Okay. So uh, with those two phases, that's how we get better. Um, and just keeping that grind going. You know, a lot of these guys, you know, as I talk to them every day, it's about swinging the hammer, swinging the hammer, right? And that's the kind of mentality we have. We have a workman's attitude. And the only way we're going to get better is if we keep grinding at it and swinging the hammer. Well, Coach, it's been a fun season watching you guys play this year because, honestly, you've got a great group of kids, and my dealings with them were just phenomenal. They're, you know, great athletes, good kids in the classroom, and, and they have a great personality as well. So you're doing something right. We want to thank you for your time today and wish you the best of luck next season. Thank you. This has been the Philander Report brought to you by the Sports Information Office.